In this video, we're gonna be reviewing Instantly.ai, my current favorite email marketing tool that exists, even though it's a relatively new tool. They've been having breakthrough developments almost every month. We've been following their progress, using all of their beta rollouts, like split testing, like their open API. And I have to say, this tool is absolutely incredible. So watch this video. I'm gonna be doing a screen share and showing you some of my favorite features with Instantly AI that you probably did not know about. And I checked on YouTube, currently have the newest video for this walkthrough that has features that all of the other videos definitely don't have because they create new features all of the time. And for those of you that don't know, my name is Jay Feldman. I own Otter PR, the number one PR firm in the country. According to Clutch and G2, I've built and scaled lead gen companies. I've also used probably 20 of these softwares personally. I keep moving my company from one to the next, but right now we are on Instantly AI and we are here to stay. This software is going to blow your mind, so let's get right into it and show you the tool. All right, here we are inside of the tool. This is instantly.ai. As you can see, super minimalist, super clean, and I love that. Uh, a lot of these tools have insane numbers of columns and options and settings, and it can get confusing and overwhelming, and to be honest, most of it you don't need. So let's just walk through some of the core features here and some of this layout. So my favorite thing is that how easy it is to navigate, and as you can see, all of these are the email accounts that we actually have set up. So you're gonna be actually seeing how we set this up for our own company. You can copy this, use this for yourself. And I can almost guarantee you're gonna have success because we've had insane success. And if you follow to the end, I'll show you some of our, our stats as well. So you can see what kind of results to expect with this tool. Uh, but just to start, uh, let me tell you, we've used several different tools. The open and reply rates that we get using instantly, I don't know why, but they are significantly better, two or three X better than other tools in some cases. So it might just be that the delivery is really clean. When you see how the emails actually send and receive, it looks like a really organic Gmail. I'll show you, let's go ahead and dig in. So setting up an email account is really easy. They do have one click integration with Gmail, uh, Microsoft Office, and you can integrate any other provider using IMAP SMTP. We use Gmail, as you know, if you watched the previous videos, and if you haven't, please go watch them. Uh, it's really helpful. All right, so in each individual email, once you get set up, and I'm not gonna set one up for you, but you've got some really cool options here. Uh, so this one, the warm up is disabled, so I'm gonna go ahead one where it's actually warming. My favorite thing about this tool, let me tell you, is that it has the most advanced warm up that I have seen, and it's free. You can sync unlimited email accounts to instantly and warm them up absolutely free of charge and is the most advanced warming that I have seen. Here as you can see kind of the stats from the warm up, but let's show you the settings. The settings are unreal. These are the campaign settings, blah, 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 name, custom tracking domain. If you're not using these, I highly recommend doing it. They've got the instructions right here. Here's where we get into the really advanced warm-up settings, and this is game-changing. If nothing else, get this software, use it for warming. So it's got the slow warm-up, which is necessary for warming. If you're warming up a new account, you do not want to start off sending 30 to 50 emails per day. You want to start at one, work your way up to 30, uh, or in some cases, work it much, much higher. Like I'm going to move this one up to 50. It's going to be just fine. You can also disable slow warm-up. If you're adding a warm account, for example, if you're transferring a warm sender from your old platform to this new one and you want to keep warming it, you can disable slow warm up and start at 50 emails per day. Reply rate, I always keep that at 30. It's just a natural organic thing. All right, this is cool, guys. This is awesome. It's able to monitor blacklists so that if your email sender or your domain ends up on a spam house blacklist or one of the other many blacklists, it will tell you, it will alert you so that you can warm it. Uh, but not just that, it also shows you when your records are are not set up correctly. So let's see if I can find one where the records might not be set up correctly. Boom. Look how cool this is, guys. It identified that the MX records aren't found, SPF not found, DKIM, DMARC, and as you fix them, it will show you which ones are still not found. So this is a really cool feature that most other warming and monitoring tools do not have. All right, let's go back into the settings on one of these. All right, down here, this is where it gets advanced. Really cool stuff. Advanced warm up settings, red emulation, warm up custom tracking domain. You can set random email ranges so it's a little bit more human. They're not getting the same amount every single day. This makes them think it's a human. So it's going to warm it better than a lot of other platforms will. You can also hyper control the open rate, spam protection. Mark is important. I like to keep those all the way up. 
Look how clean this is, guys. I've never seen any other platform just do it this smooth. All right, so that's setting up the email accounts and some of the customizations that you can do in here. Again, unlimited email accounts. We do not get charged for having all of these set up. Granted, they're not all warming in here because most of them are actively sending. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next tab over here. So email accounts, campaigns, analytics, the Unibox, you can actually see all of your incoming emails and respond to them, and then the settings control. Let's go into campaigns and show you how this works. Look how clean this is. Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite part about Instantly. This is the reason that we switched everything to Instantly, and it's the reason that I think we're getting such good results. So look at this. With other platforms, you're gonna to have to set up 100 different campaigns for 100 different email sender accounts. With this, you can have one single campaign with 100 sender accounts linked to it, and all of them rotating and sending through that same campaign, as long as the leads are added. So what does that mean? The analytics, uh, and, and I'll walk through each of these tabs. The analytics are really, really clean. Look at this, we're getting 10.2% replies. Isn't that wild? That's absolutely unbelievable for an outbound prospecting campaign. This is where you can import leads. You can do them through CSV Google Sheets. I like using Google Sheets where you monitor the sequence. Again, they have spin tax, so it rotates through views, impressions, new traffic, so that Google learns that this is not a robot. This, is a, this could be a human. Really clean setup here, but very similar to what you'll see elsewhere, so I won't spend too much time. Uh, the schedule, again, they have this on a lot of other platforms, so I won't spend too much time, but you can set custom schedules for each campaign. This is what does not exist on most other platforms and what makes this so powerful. Emails to use. You can drop 10, 20, 100 email accounts to link to the single campaign and it will rotate through them as it sends emails. That is unheard of. Again, this, this is normal. Stop sending emails upon reply. Open tracking, I disable. Pro tip, I disable this once I know a campaign is working. Once I know the messaging is good, once I know the emails are delivering to inbox, I will turn off open tracking. That will remove HTML from the email and it will increase deliverability. Now check this out, delivery optimization. Send emails as text only, no HTML. This disables open tracking. I add this to every single email campaign. If you're using images, it's not very good. But if you're not, and if you're not using a lot of links in your email, try this. This is a really cool thing that will increase your deliverability almost guaranteed. Sending limits, and a very advanced sending limits. You can do time gaps, and as you add more email sender accounts, you can increase the number of emails sent per day. All right, how cool is that with campaigns, guys? Super, super cool. You can duplicate, you can pause to edit, really strong stuff. Now I will say, one piece of knowledge that does not exist in other YouTube videos is one of the newest features that they finally added that I'm super excited about, and that is split testing. So you can now split test in campaigns. Now I think our newest one does have split tests in it. There we go. So this is how they're done. You can add variants here. So you can split, to, we're split testing the subject lines here. Now this is something that a lot of other platforms have that instantly did not have up until about two weeks ago. And I think is gonna be critical for making it a contender and taking it to the best email sending platform that exists. I've been waiting for this feature. I'm super excited about it. It looks really clean and good. Uh, I'm sure the analytics, there it is, for each step are going to be superb. So you can see this is a brand new email campaign. So I'm really excited to see how this works out. All right, let's jump into the analytics section. I love looking at these analytics because it's much more advanced than a lot of these other platforms are. Man, some of these open rates or reply rates are just unheard of. Again, we don't track opens, so we don't have open rates anymore, but we did. And when we did, when we did they, were ex they were ecstatic, they were great. But as you can see, we are getting tremendous reply rates here, 12%. Anything over 1% is good for a cold email campaign. So we keep anything running that's over one. Three is outstanding. 25, 
it's a brand new email campaign, so it can't really count it, but wow. Again, anything getting 3% replies is great. It's really, really great. Uh, so you can look at a lot of different stuff here, account analytics by, by account, by campaign. You can filter. Um, just really simple, clean analytics um, that you don't get in a lot of other, other platforms. The Unibox. So if you have somebody on board who's monitoring all the responses and don't want to log into each email account, you can do it all straight from here. You can mark them as positive, negative. You can reply straight from here. Uh, so this is a really cool feature. Uh, a lot of other platforms have this. They make it really clean. They're constantly advancing it. So just so you know, it's there, it works, it's clean, it's awesome. All right, uh, some of the settings. So one of the things that I don't like about Instantly is the limited number of contacts. So we pay per contact. I think it's per 25,000 contacts. It bills an extra amount per month. So we did buy the lifetime subscription that that was only good for a certain amount of contacts. So now we pay monthly. The problem with this is once a campaign runs out, we have to delete the contacts from the campaign and add new contacts. So in order for that to work, we need to continue to update our do not send list. And I'll show you how to do that. So if you're trying to do volume in terms of contacts, this might not be the one for you. But if you're trying to use this like we are really hyper targeted with a lot of good email accounts sending a small amount of emails per day, I uh, highly recommend this platform. All right, let's log through a couple of things. Workspace, I'm gonna change this to Otter PR while I'm in here. This is just really general stuff. Now, I do wanna go through the integrations quickly. Again, this is a relatively new tool. So the API is still working. The Zapier API just started to work. So if you want to link this with your CRM, link this with your email warming software, link this with your Slack, now you can. You can also create custom webhooks. As you can see, we have one uh, that we used for Zapier. I guess now they have a, a better Zapier integration, but we're still using the webhook. So you can integrate this with everything. Granted, the integrations aren't going to be quite as advanced as you're going to see with the older email platforms, but believe me, they're coming and they're coming fast. And now that you can do this with Zapier, you can do a lot of the stuff that you'll need to do. Okay, cool. Um, account does connect notification if you want to get emails for it. Awesome. Now, one of the things that I wanted to share with you was the do not send list. There we go. All right, we want to make sure that we're not hitting the same people too many times. This one's hidden. And I wanted you to know about it because you need to keep this active, especially with this platform. This is one of the kind of golden goose eggs that I, and one of the things that I like a lot about this platform and also one of the things that I don't like. And that is because you have to delete contacts to continue to add new ones, it needs to know who not to send duplicate emails to. So when you delete contacts, you need to download those contacts and add them up here in this top right, the global block list. And the way they do it is pretty cool. You link it to a Google Sheet. And that Google Sheet just keeps a running list of emails not to send it to. So as you delete contacts from your Instantly, you need to add them to your global block list. And it's a really clean integration. As you can see, we've got a ton here. But you need to keep this up to date. If you don't keep this up to date, it will probably hit the same people that you deleted again. It's just eventually going to re-add the same data and you need to make sure that when people are unsubscribed, they stay unsubscribed and this is the way to do it. So global block list, a little bit hidden. It's up here. You link it to a Google Sheet. Just make sure that you keep this up to date. Very, very important. So overall, I definitely recommend instantly for anybody looking to get in on the ground floor of a new, email, a new cold email platform. It is making advancements every single week. Their development team is unbelievable. Their live chat, by the way, which is down here, is highly responsive. We use this all the time. They're great. So you can see all of the conversations very recently. And not a lot of email platforms have that level of support. So definitely recommend instantly in terms of support. In terms of price, honestly, you can't beat it for what it does. With the combined warming, sending, unlimited sender accounts, and as long as you're doing a good job working through the contacts, it's not gonna be any problem for you. If you are interested in using Instantly, there is going to be a link down in the description where you can uh, get a discount using my link. So please click that and sign up. This is a platform, as you can see, that we use for our own company. We cannot fake this. This is just in the last 
a uh, couple of days all of the email accounts that we've uh, all the campaigns that we've been sent uh, <laughs> setting up and sending uh, so please check this platform out I do think it's going to be one of the best it already is I think one of the best but also the best value for your dollar and the most scalable if you want to build a really large and well thought out lead generation system I think this is going to be the platform for you so thank you for tuning in get instantly and if you have any questions about it please drop it in the comments so that I can respond personally and if you found a lot of value from this review please uh, subscribe please like this video please hit the bell notification so that you don't miss a new one and if you want to see other reviews of different uh, platforms or comparisons please let me know in the comments all right thank you see you in the next one bye